Good day everyone. For this video, I have decided to take a departure from my reports on Mormonism and Joseph Smith, and make a special video regarding the Archangel Raziel. Connected with the famous Book of Raziel. Although I mentioned Angel Raziel in a previous video, I imagine there are those of you who would like to know more about the story. This report is safe for children, however, parental guidance is recommended. This video is for educational purposes. There are three levels of heaven. Celestial, terrestrial, and telestyle. In Mormonism, only those who are in the celestial kingdom will live in God's presence. As mentioned before, the book was shown to Adam while he was still in the Garden of Eden. The book revealed to Adam each sage and leader for the future generations. There are two schools of thought as to how Adam received this information. Firstly, it is said that God put Adam to sleep and, thereby, he was given the information. Secondly, it is believed that Adam saw all this with his many eyes and that what he saw was with his own powers of vision. There is the powerful belief that all souls before they are born, stand before God, and He sees them in the form they will be upon the earth. God sent Raziel the Angel of Secrets to read the book to Adam, however, when he heard the first words he fainted in fear. Seeing this, God decided to recall the angel and instructed that the book be left with Adam for him to read on his own. Thus, Adam read the book and became wise in all things. There are those who also say that the book was written on parchment and that this was the Torah. Other reports indicate that the book was written on a sapphire and that, when Adam held it up to the light, he could see the flame burning and the letters form and this enabled him to read it. Because some believe the book of Raziel to be the Torah, historical accounts say that the Torah was one of the seven things created before the rest of creation, this being so that the first man would receive the book's wisdom. Contained in the book was a secret writing that explained 72 branches of wisdom and mysteries, which had not been revealed even to the other angels. The book contains the entire history, past and future, of mankind. Whenever Adam opened the book, angels gathered around him to learn the mystical secrets it contained. Then, the angels made an entreaty to God, saying, Impart the mystery of your glory to the angels, not to men. Instead, the angel Hadaniel was secretly sent to Adam and said, Adam, do not reveal the glory of your master, for to you, alone, and not the angels as the privilege given to know these mysteries. After that Adam kept the book concealed and read it in secret. He learned mysteries, not even known by angels. However, the angels became so jealous that they stole the book of Raziel and tossed it into the sea. Adam could not find it, so he fasted for many days until a heavenly voice spoke. Fear not, Adam, I will give the book back to you. Then God summoned Rahab, the angel of the sea, and ordered him to recover the book from the depths and give it back to Adam. Rahab obediently complied. When Adam transgressed, the book flew away from him. Distraught, Adam begged God to return the book. He beat his breast and entered the river Gihon up to his neck until he became wrinkled and his face became cadaverous. Then God made a sign for the angel Raphael, the angel of healing. God commanded Raphael to heal Adam which he did and Raphael brought the book back to him. After that, Adam studied intently and left the book to his son Seth. Thus, the book went through the successive generations. This is the book of generations of Adam, Genesis 5:1. In this way, the book was handed down from Seth to Enosh, to Kenan, to Jed, and in this way it reached Enoch. It was from this book that Enoch drew his vast knowledge of the mysteries of creation. Before he was taken up into heaven and transformed into the angel Metatron, Enoch entrusted the book to his son, Methuselah, who read the book and transmitted it to his son, Lamech, and from there it reached Noah, Lamech's son who made use of its instructions in building the ark, there are those who insist that the book was revealed to Noah by the angel Raziel. It is said that Noah heard the book from the mouth of Raziel, and later the angel wrote it down for him on a sapphire. By reading this book it was possible for Noah to penetrate great secrets of knowledge, 
hierarchies of understanding and thoughts of wisdom, to understand and know the ways of life and death, peace and war, good and evil, hunger or harvest or drought, and to foresee concerns of each year. By gazing there the destinies of the stars were revealed, the sun and the names of the guardians of each firmament. Revealed as well, were the secrets of interpreting dreams and visions, and how it was possible to rule over man's desires, and drive away evil spirits and demons. Happy was the eye, that beheld the book, and the ear, that listened to the wisdom of the book, because it revealed all secrets of heaven and earth. Noah placed the book into a golden box, and it was the first thing he brought into the ark. This way, it was revealed to Abraham, whose knowledge of it allowed him to gaze upon the glory of God. And so it went, from Abraham it was passed down to Isaac, and Jacob, then to Joseph who consulted it to discover the meaning of dreams. The book was buried with Joseph, which allowed the book, to be preserved when his coffin was brought up from the Nile by Moses and put beside the tabernacle, which continued throughout the Israelites wandering in the wilderness. This is how the book came to King Solomon, who used it to impart justice. He, also, used it to receive the wisdom, to construct the Temple of Solomon. Some say that the book was lost, when the temple was destroyed. Its letters were sent soaring on high as flames approached the sanctuary where it was hidden. Others say the book was saved from the flames, and passed on since that day to this. This way it is said to have reached Rabbi Adam, and from Rabbi Adam it was passed on to the Baal Shem Tov, who learned the sacred mysteries from reading it. And in this way he became the tzaddik of his generation. Tzaddik, for those who do not know, means a righteous person. This is the most famous of all the chain midrashim, a linked set of myths. It tells the story of how God sent the angel Raziel to reveal the book to Adam, and how Adam came into possession of it. The book that the angel Raziel left with Adam is known by two names, one is the book of Raziel, and the other the book of Adam. Raziel Har Malik expertly records the book being transmitted from Adam to Noah to Abraham, to Isaac, Levi, Moses, Aaron, Phinehas and so on through the generations. The book mostly consists of the names of God, and of the angels, and the texts of amulets. The book itself is believed to have talismanic powers, especially the ability to ward off fires and other disasters. This is why it is in many Jewish homes. The angel Raziel, who delivered the book of Raziel to Adam, plays a role in Jewish mythology equivalent to Hermes in Greek mythology. That is, Raziel serves as a messenger of God whereas, Hermes also known as Mercury is a messenger of the gods. Rahab, the angel of the sea, is the Jewish mythic equivalent of Poseidon, Greek god of the sea. The following are excerpts from the book of Raziel. There are three secrets corresponding to the Torah of the Prophets. The beginning wisdom is reverence of the Lord. This corresponds to the three wisdoms. It is written, of the outer wisdom, rejoice and build the house of wisdom with the secret of the foundation. Be wise by opening the heart to the secret. There are three kinds of secrets. The secret of the chariot, the secret of Genesis, and the secret of the laws of God. These are made clear by the help of sure die. Note. This is the word in Hebrew for, God Almighty. In heaven there are three kinds of reverence. They are reverence of the Lord, reverence of Shor Dai, and reverence of Elohim. Those giving reverence or loved by the Lord. There are many blessings by living in purity. Go from darkness into the light, divide yourself from those who have been led astray. It is written in the Midrash of three kinds of offerings. They are the burnt offering, the peace offering, and the sin offering. Give reverence and serve God in great fear. Be delivered from curses written in the Torah. The punishment comes forth from the holy place, blessed is it. Its measure is longer than the earth and wider than the sea. Receive salvation from affliction, injury, and suffering. Do not writhe in pain. Do not be ruled over by foreign lands. Do not bring death or speak evil. There are three classes of righteousness. They are love, petition, and reverence. The burnt offering corresponds to love. The peace offering corresponds to petition. The sin offering corresponds to reverence. 
the burnt offering is a sacrifice to the glory of God alone. The peace offering and sin offering are for the sake of the living body. Proclaim love from the petition, and petition from the reverence. From love, you serve God in righteousness. Give glory and honor to the kingdoms alone, before all things. In goodness, the Lord created the universe by the word, not by labor. The God and Father and King is strong and wise, good and compassionate. You tolerate all things, filling all the highest and lowest, sustaining in the high places and bringing forth all creatures. You reveal the mysteries of the universe, the knowledge of good and evil. You tolerate wickedness, for the sake of the restoration. Note. This last line reveals that God tolerates wickedness, but it is for the sake of restoration and redemption. Thus, those that perform wickedness may be restored to purity at any time forward. This is obviously an important question by those asking, why? This is especially true, when we often see or hear of heinous crimes. Petition for every measure of goodness for the sake of the benefit of the body. This is the foundation of wisdom, understanding of knowledge. Heal the woman unable to conceive, and make sons upright in the heart. You succeed in works of wealth and glory and treasures, all to the good. Give reverence and serve God in great fear. Be delivered from curses written in the Torah. The punishment comes forth from the holy place, blessed is it. Receive salvation from affliction, injury, and suffering. Do not writhe in pain. Do not be ruled over by foreign lands. Do not bring death or speak evil. Of sacrifices in the first house through the first priest in the name of the one God, three lines in righteousness. By love, by petition, and by priest, in the name of the one God, three lines in righteousness. By love, by petition, and by reverence. Complete them and be protected by God, protecting and loving you from petition and reverence. The beginning wisdom is reverence of the Lord and love of heaven. The heart of the righteous burns as flames of fire. Keep the commandments in reverence of the Lord. This the Lord requires, not making reward for reverence and love. It is written of reverence and love, the explicit name was created from love. Of the written word, this is the reverence of sure die. Revere God by keeping every commandment. That is all for now. This is just a very small sample of the book of Raziel. I have seen this book on Amazon and elsewhere, if you wish to read the entire book. It is likely, that anyone who reads it will find the entire tome extremely valuable. Sources for this report. B. of Odders Zara 5a, Genesis Rabbah 24 4, Leviticus Rabbah 15 1, Avot D. Rabbi Natan. 56a, Midrash Tanhuma Bereshit 132, Midrash Tehillim 139, Zohar 137b, 155ab, 158b, 1,90b, Sefer Ha Razam 65-66, Raziel Ha Malik 2, 4. Studies. Kabbalah by Avram Yaakov Finkel, pages 23-30. Thank you for joining me today, and to learn more about the angel Raziel, the keeper of secrets. I hope you enjoyed this report. If so, please like, share, comment and subscribe. I would like to thank Murph for this very user-friendly app that makes my videos possible. Thank you also to Unsplash for various images and other images as fair use. Thank you, also, to Dan Lebowitz for today's soundtrack called Last Train to Mars. Until next time, I truly hope you enjoy your day or evening. Bye for now.